That was quite the intro. All right, all right. All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome to Outriders. I am currently playing this on the PlayStation 5. I don't know too much about this game. I mean, as in most cases, I never know much about the games. I just buy them. So this one launched about a week ago, I believe. Um, I was going to play the demo, but then I found out that it actually was about to come out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. But I haven't made time for it because, you know, time is something that I lack <laughs> enough of. Um, anyways, I do know this is actually a co-op. Um, the first thing that comes into mind for me is basically maybe a bit of Borderlands, a bit of like Anthem. Let's see, what else? What else? What else is there? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm kind of in the dark. It just, like I said, the one thing I do know, it's co-op and I really wish to play this with all my friends, but sadly, uh, I'm a bit of a uh, <laughs> solo, I guess, solo type of person. Um, but, I mean, oh well. But let's go check it out. Let's see what this game has for us. I'm really excited because it's something different, something new again. I am still working on other titles as I'm playing this game. So please be patient with me. <laughs> I will try to push this. If it does good enough, I'll keep it going. And if not, well, this will be a one part sample and then we'll go from there. So let's check it out, you guys. By continuing to the game, you read to our terms of service and confirm that you have read and understood the Square Enix privacy notice. Sure. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Alright, I'm going to take my boy. I already like him as is. I don't want to change anything. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's do a quick scroll. Honestly, for the most part, I always tend to stick to default. Never really go too out of my way to change it up way too much. I like this lighter skin tone. Alright, eye color. Can't really tell. For the most part, like you never look at them in the eyes. Why should it ever matter? But I guess I'll go with blue. Let's check out our hair. Oh. Let's see. Nope. Can I? Oh, yeah, I could. I'm like, can I move him around? He kind of has like a serious face. Like, reminds me of Joel for some reason. The dreads. Or bald. That's actually not bad. He looks like Triple H at this point. <laughs> Alright, uh, I kind of like the first one. Like, the first option I have. He reminds me at this point of uh, Brad Pitt when he plays his role in Fury. I forgot his name. I kind of like that one. Come along, beer. See, now he's looking kind of like Eivor from Assassin's Creed. Or my Eivor, at least. <laughs> Without With his stash, he looks like... Uh, damn, what's his name? What is his name? He's from the Pirate of the Caribbean. Um, ah, I feel like I know it. Damn, it almost looks like him, too. Like, they even have the same expression. I forgot his name. Bloom? George? No. George Bloom? No, no, no. Ah, I forget, but it reminds me of that guy. I think I'm gonna give him the long beard. It just reminds me so much of Eivor. Try to keep him consistent. So, hair color. Let's see. Oh, it's not even bad at all. Look at that amount of detail, you guys. It's amazing. I don't want to give him... I also don't want him to lose himself with his armor. I need some sort of contrast. Am I bringing the Witcher in this or what? Hmm. I guess, I guess. I'll give him black. All right, I, I'm settling with this for now. Markings. Do I want to give him scars? I don't feel like giving him a big scar. Where's this? How about no scar? 
How about that? Piercings. Don't want to give them piercings. I kind of like those. It's one side. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, not bad at all. Oh, look at those. What's up with this music? So dramatic. We're just like making a character. Jeez. Oh. I'd be nice if I could do multiple ones, to be honest. But see, I like these, but I like these three rings. If I could combine it with that, with this, and these. Oh no, not those. These, I'd be super sick, but I can't. Okay, uh, man, I don't know what to choose. I guess maybe these? I don't know. What do you guys think? Alright, I guess I'll go with these for now. The only reason I like these, like if I were to set them up how I want them, is because he would remind me so much of Pain from Naruto. That's the only reason why I would want to get all those. Alright, I guess we're done, you guys. Let's jump into the next segment. Oh, I have to call him too? I mean, I have to name him? Alright, alright about you guys already know why are you acting dumb <laughs> kidding kidding no one said anything i'm not calling you guys dumb i swear <laughs> oh what do you mean world tier all right or notice known crossplay disconnects between pc and console we have temporarily turned off automatic matchmaking between pc and consoles due to a known multiplayer issue should you invite a console player into your pc game via an invitation code or invite code or vice versa the game will initially connect but one player will eventually be kicked out of the game we highly recommend against doing this until we have patched all versions of the game steam and epic players can still crossplay together either by invite or via matchmaking playstation and xbox players can successfully play together cool I didn't even know I had a crossplay. A message from the Outriders team. Dear Outrider, this is it. This is where it truly begins. Uh, while your journey may not, may only just be starting, Outriders is a culmination of our five year plus, uh, five plus year long dream to create something truly special. Hundreds of team members around the globe of at People Can Fly, Square Enix, and our many partners contributed to what you are about to experience. All that being said, we wouldn't be here today without you, the player. Hey, you're welcome, you guys. Um, your faith and trust is not something we will ever take for granted, and we truly appreciate your support. Thank you, the Outriders team. So you know what's crazy about Because I've never even heard about this game. It literally just dropped on me out of nowhere, and I just bought it. So I don't even know what to expect. All right, you guys. Y'all ready? Let's get to it. Five, four, three, two, one. Earth was dead. We had destroyed it. Two colony ships were built to carry us across the stars. Only one ship made it. We're all that's left. After an 83 year journey, we orbit our new home. The planet, Enek, Anash. Enoch, I don't know how you pronounce that. Humanity's last damn chance. Engine first, altitude 20,000 feet and falling. 
Almost looks like home. That's what worries me. Well, boss, you're ready. Got my truck. When snipers at three and six, multiple defense lines and an operating base established within the hour. Move! Goodman, a word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to answer a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. I know what you're all thinking. There's no going home. And no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green like this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job! Outrider, you don't owe me anything. Yeah. I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. <laughs> All right, let's move out. Stay sharp. Watch our six in. <sighs> Would you smell that air? I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on Earth. I was used to it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get used to fresh air, too. Truth is, none of us should have even gotten off Earth. Survivor's guilt. Do you think any one of us isn't feeling it? It's not just that. If the Caraval's engine hadn't exploded back on Earth and killed most of the real outriders with it, there wouldn't be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. Seems like a fast-paced type of game already, like my camera's so sensitive. Like I'm trying to turn a little bit and it's already like turning all the way. I was <laughs> like, damn. Alright, the radar. The radar will help you locate quest objectives, enemies, and more points of interest. Got it. Like I'm trying not to walk I'm trying to walk at like a very slow pace to keep up, but I catch up. <laughs> so what I do we'll make now? camp here. Outrider, set a beacon flag. Let HQ know the area is secure. Got it, boss. Oh, whoa. That's right, you better run away. Let me catch you here next time. What is this, domination? King of the hill? people we got jobs to do Cuthbert Scarstead set up a perimeter I want fortifications going up within the hour Jakob you're field testing the munitions Gutman 
Get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. Here, boss. What do you want? Hey. No matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. Our weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jacob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No, boss. No word from Earth, I assume? She's really gone. She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ACA's confirmed no communication since. <laughs> Shit. You know, I uh, grew up a slum dog. Fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really. Long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, I was never gonna live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming. You're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here. Build a cabin. Grow old and get fat. That's not me, Cap. Know my way around bullets, not kids. Gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. Whoa, have optional dialogue? Alright, Captain, did your family make it off Earth? Did any more of your people make it off Earth, Cap? My brother. Almost. But no. They got him in cryo as we evacuated LA. Hoping we could stop the bleeding. Ah, he was too far gone. Ah, shit. Sorry to hear that. I haven't had the time to think about it. What about Sarah? She's good, right? Yeah. My Sarah's up there. They don't wake her group for another six months, but I can wait. I'm, uh... I didn't have a chance to tell you this and all the madness, but... My little girl's pregnant. That's how I got her the seat. <laughs> Two for one special, huh? That's why I've been in such a good mood since they unfroze your ass. Don't push it out, right? <laughs> yes, sir, granddad, sir. Alright, time to head out and find Jacob. I'll go find Jacob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. I guess his name's Jacob. Not Jacob. My bad. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> Alright, Jacob, where are you? So, for those of you watching, did you this way. were any of you anticipating this game? Waiting for it to launch since the moment you heard about it? Hey there, little guy. I almost stepped on you. Or were you like me, where it just kind of dropped out of nowhere and you're like, oh, what kind of game is this? And check it out, you know? Because that's how it is for me. I don't know what to expect. Like I said, I'm just getting all these like random vibes, some Mass Effect, um, maybe a little bit of Gears of War too, in the mix. Jacob, where are you? Can I talk to you? No. Can I talk to you? No. Can I jump over this? No. Okay, let me follow this star. You know, it's important to look at your map, you guys. Because then you know where to really go. <laughs> or you'll be like me. Stuck wondering where to go. Alright, Jakob. What's on your mind, boss? I know that look you get. The last day on Earth was a nightmare. Man, what happened? I mean, this took place in L.A. I'm a little scared. Like, is this going to happen? Are we going to have to, like, survive like them? Like, what's going on? I want to know in advance, you know? 
That last day got really hairy. I wasn't sure if any of us were gonna make it. We cut it pretty close. You can't stop thinking about it either. I know. It's insane. That was 80 years ago. Yeah, it feels like days. My knuckles are still sore, my ears still ringing from all the gunfire. I mean, there was thousands of them, all climbing over each other, slaughtering everyone in their way. Tried to pull down the launch tower to bash in the doors of her shuttles. I've been in a lot of war zones, but that was fucking anarchy. Look, it was either us getting off the planet with them, or we just did what we had to do. We do what we have to do. We look out for each other. Hell, we better. Other than the Cap and Cuthbert, you're the only person left alive I know. I'm the only person left alive worth knowing. <laughs> I'm glad you made it on board, you old bastard. Me too. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, so, what do you think about... Oh, we're about to find out how you pronounce it. Oh, I'm excited. All right, let's go. What do you make of this place, Jacob? It's perfect. Beautiful. How long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic? Oh, come on. You can't still be that cynical. Just look at this valley. I don't know, boss. Maybe we all just got too much riding on this. We already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up to it... Maybe we won't. Sure, maybe this is really it. Maybe we can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows, stop worrying about food every goddamn day. Believe me, boss. I want this to work. You have no idea. But, huh? people don't change. Still got your money on black, huh? The house always wins. Ah, oh, he didn't say it. God, how do you pronounce that word for this planet? Uh, I guess I'm ready for target practice. Time to test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. Oh, sure. Say target practice after I said it, but not the other damn planet name. Fancy stuff. Yeah, a new toy. You're the first one to test it out, boss. Alright. I'm telling you guys, this just feels like Gears of War in a way. Just not as heavy. Think you could take on a tank? Now give that sidearm a try, eh? Realistically, what am I shooting at? Why do I have to hold it? I hate when you have to hold triangle to swap weapons. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Do I have to worry about civilians? Hope not. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, you can stop showing off. Aw, oh, man. What else? What else you got for me, Jacob? That's such a weird way to pronounce that name. I'm so used to Jacob. Ah, remember, switch to your secondary. It's faster. I know, I know. Oh, shoot. Got him. Oh, oh, oh. all right. I got this. Oh, I can't swap weapons. God damn it. Outrider, check on our ECA rep. See if Shear has found any probes yet. I was it shooting though, realistically? I'm just killing like anything like over there. <laughs> so you better watch out. Cool. Am I automatically restocked just by passing by? Or was it talking about this? Oh, I was talking about those. Never mind. Got it, got it. I almost left without like restocking all of my ammunition. What a noob, huh? Collectibles pick up. Praise for the outriders, and then a lot of talk about how we need to assimilate to general population. We're mercenaries. What was supposed to do after this landing stuff? We're supposed to be here. 
There's no one to fight. I don't know who's talking. I'm just going crazy, turning all over the place. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is stunning. I wish you could have seen this, Dad. Hey, you're Shira, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Oh, if only we had an internet to post those to. It's from a scientific record. Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing was backed up. I'm just pulling your legs, Shira. Any luck with the probe? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do. It's just... How can the probe's signals have simply vanished? Yeah, they said it was some kind of interference or something. Not from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still, seems the initial readings were right. The breathing. Yes, but before the ECA can authorize half a million more people coming here, we need the probes data to know we can support them. And if we can't? What's the ECA's plan B? Do you have any questions I could answers to? How's this colonization gonna work? You're in the planning rooms, right? Yes. We've already started disassembling the engine. We need to bring that down first. The nuclear core should give us enough power to get the colony up and running. And when do the civilian pods start coming down? Within a few weeks, if all goes well. First, just enough people and resources to get our infrastructure running. You know, water, food, shelter. Then we'll keep waking folks from cryo, a few thousand at a time, no more than we can feed. Until before you know it, you'll be standing in the middle of a city. Meanwhile, the Flores stays up there? The ship was built in orbit. It was never meant to land. We'll have to keep it in our skies until we're capable of space flight again. One day, maybe. All right, all right. Honestly, there's a lot going on. I'm just trying to wonder, like, what happened in the first place like who's gonna tell me the truth i mean i know what happened obviously i were there eight years later but i want someone to remind me <laughs> okay <laughs> all right tell me the truth you think the ecas thought this whole plan through well my father was part of the team that designed the plan my entire life he helped prepare for this day the greatest undertaking of human history Oh, so that's how you got on the ship, huh? Daddy smoothed your way? No. I studied engineering. Spent years in orbit. Designed structure, drilling rivets into the hull. I helped build that ship. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. Just not like the way you thought. He gave up his place for me. He stayed behind. Shit, I'm, uh, sorry. He would have been in awe of this place. But in the end, it's just me. It's strange not knowing anyone here. When this is over, come hang out with us. We're not such a bad bunch. I might take you up on that. I was gonna say she was very uptight, but um, no, she, she's just takes her a little bit of time, but she's cool. She's cool. Hey, is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 oh! That's a probe. Tanner, I think we got a signal. It's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing so we can land this beauty. Copy that. Hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh? That's dope. <laughs> For science. All right, let's head on over. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll check it out. Nine o'clock, something big. 
All units stay alert. Guard the perimeter. Hold your fire until we know what we're dealing with. Oh, we got eyes on some kind of hyena, cow things. Yeah, I'm seeing them over here too. A whole herd of them. Are we sure all the wildlife around here are vegetarians? Herbivores? We call them herbivores? Whatever. They look pretty ugly, you ask me. No, they're... they're astonishing. I bet they can be domesticated, performing. Uh, I bet they make some fat, juicy steaks. Uh, one of those cow things is sunning itself right on my path. Hey, maybe you can get close enough to get a DNA sample. Not exactly our priority, but if I can get close without spooking it, I'll try. Nah, scared it off, but I've secured the objective. Fantastic. Got some kind of storm brewing. Cap, yeah, found the probe. Looks like it landed pretty hard. But the data seems intact. Copy that. Transmitting to HQ now. Good work, Outrider. Hold on. Tanner? I'm picking up a second signal. But something's weird about this one. Weird? The bitch is rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data. I'm calling it in. You want to keep searching? Don't blame me if you find trouble. Over and out. Uh, all right, Outriders. Rendezvous back with the convoy. Let's go find that stray. What is going on? The golden question of this game. So, is this gonna be open world? Oh, I could sprint! Wow! Look at that! Look at me go! Alright, I mean, I already knew this. Kind of figured it's a universal joystick to press, I guess, for running. <laughs> In most cases. Captain! Hey, Cuthbert, any updates? The probe signal is mostly noise, but I've tracked its source. There. Hope you all brought your galoshes. Ooh. Jakob. Mm. Same shit, different planet. Ochevishcha. <laughs> Electronics are freezing up. Trucks are down. We continue on foot. Soldier, your primary focus, Shira. Understand? We keep moving. Eyes up. Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing. I'm good. Jesus. Shit. Get back to the ship. Alert the medics. What's going on? Stay back. Tanner, got eyes on the probe. I got movement, heading in.
Ah, come on. Can't just throw me out there. HQ. We've encountered a potential biological hazard. Requesting quarantine procedure at base. Damn it, Tanner. I told you both that not to go mess up this operation. It's my name on the line with this landing, and you have no authority over me. Maxwell. Shit. Unit 2. Stay at your position. We are head... Hey, boss. We lost you. I'm getting our straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea what this black gunk is? Some kind of saprophyte or mycelium? But we collect samples. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a little too close for comfort. I don't like how they're doing this introduction for me right now. <laughs> so I'll hold left stick in the direction I press circle to dodge enemy attacks. Okay. Okay, you wanna play? Let's play. Got this. Get out of here, bro. Oh, oh. Captain, got attacked by one of those cow things. Something drove it crazy. I had to put it down. Keep an eye out. Copy that out, Ryder. Now move your ass and find that probe. Oh, I'm moving it, all right. Oh, square. What? What? I have to hold it? What if it's an emergency? Tanner, I found it. Good work. Get the drive, so get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner, the signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. Oh, damn it! Something's frying it, Tanner. Give us the frequency. Uh, carrier frequency is nine seven point. Tanner, do you copy? Oh, shit. Tanner, Tanner. I'm seeing some really strange shit down here. The fuck?
Maxwell, what the fuck is all this? What does it look like? Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> What the fuck? Tatter here! We need help! <laughs> we need medics! See to them! Hurry! No, stop! They're contaminated. We contain them. That's an order. You always were an asshole. Look around you! We got men and women in need of medical attention! Now get your asses in gear and do the right thing, or I'm gonna have to- No! Contain this! Now! Burn the fucking bodies! Whoa. That was... That was... Maxwell, not expecting that. I'll take care of the wounded. Just hold them back. Jack, cover me. I'm going after Maxwell. I gotcha. Outriders, stand down! Oh my goodness, you guys. Sure. After you call off your goddamn goons. Sergeant Major, the entire colonization is threatened. We need to warn the Florists. Your outriders are the ones who stirred up this threat, imperiled this mission. Bullshit. Oh, nice. Let's check out our inventory. Okay, so. What's all this junk? Uh, okay, cool, cool. Let's equip that. Oh, I could carry up to three weapons. Nice. A Piper. Tanner's backup rifle. Sounds about right. Um. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I was not expecting Captain to go off like that. That's... Oh, a blind fire. Oh, what is this kind of weapon? Look at that. Oh my god, I'm in love. They're like explosive rounds in a way. They're popping left and right. Oh, shoot. Maxwell set up a blockade. He's gonna burn everything down. Why? So we can tell the story of how the Outriders fucked everything up. I don't even know how they're popping left and right. <laughs> I'm trying to like. Okay, I need to move up. Throwing grenades too. Damn them. Can't believe they just pop like balloons right there. Why is this getting everything set up on fire? What's going on? Kill the traitors! Don't let them near! This is on your head. Oh, I got him! Revenge! Hey, 
you, and you. Help me with the wounded. We have to get them to Metla. Over here! Come on, move your asses! you back into cryo until Medlab can save your fucking life. Don't be ridiculous. I'm done for. Pep talks aren't really my thing. When is something truly over? Was it when your people left Earth behind? Was it when you watched the first spaceship crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow Outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? But Enoch isn't done with you yet, Outrider. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. Just leave them here. These are outriders. They're not why we're here. I'm sorry. Survive. Survive what? Getting our asses fried by the big storm. Hey, I told you to shut the hell up. We're here. Come on. Go back. Go back. What the hell's happening? Uh, They've got an altar to tear our guys apart. We need to get out of here. But where? Storm's coming. You think the altar care about a storm? Shit, shit, shit. Take the back way through the fridge. But we're not going to make it. Let's just talk about you. Rob the captain of the show, are you out of your gun? Watch out! Help it! What's she doing? Leave me alone! What the hell is going on? Taking us. 
I'm not supposed the to hell be. is the matter with you? You just wake up or something? Cryo, it's just... Well, let me catch you up real quick. That paradise you Outriders promised us, guess what we've got instead? Goddamn alien storms! No shelter, no food, just kicked to the curb like exiles while your ECA pals got fat in their bunker! Bullshit! It wasn't like that! We lost electronics! We could have left you all the rot in your cryopods! But we didn't! We saved you ungrateful! <laughs> How many times did I tell you to shut up? <laughs> Welcome to the Valley of Death, asshole! Oh my god, the storm again. What is he gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh, fuck me. No, 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 no. What's what's going on? All I know is that I know nothing. Oh, come on. You can't just throw me something like this. You can't just, like, kill the guy that it doesn't be the main character. <laughs> All right, so we have the Technomancer, a long-range support with gadgets. We've got the medium-range Conjurer with fire. we got the close-range hit-and-run space-time. Oh, that looks pretty cool. And then we've got the close range tank. Stand your ground. Uh, I'm digging this guy to be honest. Close range. Hit and run. What I also want to do. It's between Power Mancer and Trickster. Straight up. Uh, I'll go with this guy. Honestly, like I just like how he looks. He looks cool. I always, I've always liked close combat. Bend the laws of space and time to appear out of nowhere. Assassinate your enemies. And return to safety in the blink of an eye. See, it basically reminds me of um, kind of like the those guys from Destiny. What are they called? The the hunters, in a way. As the trickster, each enemy killed in close range heals you and grants a portion of shield. Perfect. Let's go. Want it? Actually, let me click on the wrist just to see what they offer. So, Technomancer, manipulate the anomaly to animate constructs and bend them to your will. Uh, aiding allies and killing enemies from afar. As a Technomancer, you will recover a portion of the damage you deal as health. Okay. That's pretty cool. Cover foes in flames. Incinerate entire squads and heal your own wounds as enemies fall to your inferno. As a Pyromancer, you will recover health whenever enemies marked by your skills are killed. Oh, that's dope. So that's a Pyromancer, huh? And last but not least, we have the Devastator. Tech point and defend your allies. Uh, ground and foes alike will tremble as you pass. As the Devastator, you will recover health from slain enemies that stood too close. Hey, I mean, honestly, they all sound freaking OP. But I'm still gonna stick to my Trickster. Are you sure you want to be a Trickster? You won't be able to change your chosen path later. I'm down. No regrets.
Well, we're back from the dead, just like that. I still don't know what the hell's going on. I'm so lost in this. Um, that would be super cool to play with friends, I guess. It is a co-op game. But, oh well. I guess we are strife florists. <laughs> That's the only thing I got out of this. And that we're stuck in a planet that has been decades since we last were sent to the cryo. So maybe, what's her face? Uh, I forgot her name. Uh, she's probably old by now. She's probably a granny. Who knows how much time has passed, actually. But, damn. What a mess. Alright, you guys. Well, that's uh, part one of Outriders. Uh, let me know if you liked it. Have you enjoyed it? Have it's what you expected? Honestly, I, I wasn't expecting any of this. But, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't. Give me more game content. And, as always, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Because I definitely have so many questions I want answered. <laughs>